Hey guys, it's Xap here, and welcome back to another Hypixel Skyblock tutorial video. Today, we're going to be talking about the best ways that you can grind XP. Now, I went through and I did a ton of tests, all the different mines and different ways of getting XP that I could think of that you know people mentioned me or whatever. I tested all of them and I figured out which ones were the best for like maybe if you don't have such good armor or if you have good armor. Um, like I found the best overall. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all the different things that I tested and what I found was to be the best. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of, well it's going to mostly be like, um, I'm going to like talk about these in order from the least, like the worst to the best. Um, and so it might be a little bit mixed up for the most part, that's what it's going to be. So first of all I tried fishing um, down that way and I figured out that that is not... A good way of getting the XP at all it takes way too long even though I have a lure 5 it just it's it's just not good so obviously this gold mine and the first layer of the deep caverns are not going to be very good for getting XP those are pretty obvious to be the lowest so the thing that I found to be lowest on this list of things that I um, experimented with was going to be just slime killing um, when you kill a slime, it does give you a good amount of XP, like per kill, but the problem with it is that sometimes they're like pretty spread out, so you can't be constantly killing them, and sometimes when you have to deal with the bigger ones like this one here, it can be hard um, to avoid getting hit, and it can just cost you more time when you get knocked back so far, and then you have to run back up to it, and it can just be really annoying. So I do not recommend the slime killing method. Now the method I consider to be the next lowest is going to be the redstone mine. Um, the redstone does give a decent amount of XP and it's pretty close to the amount, it's pretty much like the same as the amount that lapis gives you, but the problem with this one is that if anyone hits one of these pigments, it doesn't, ha it doesn't even have to be you, they will like all attack you. So yeah, I don't recommend the redstone mine either because of the fact that there are the annoying pigmen that shoot fire projectiles whenever they're attacking you it's just not fun so the next place you're gonna be able to go for XP is you can come here to the blazing fortress the way you get here is you go back to the back of the graveyard and then you go to the spiders den and you have to basically go up until you get here to the um, <clears throat> blazing fortress there's uh, those jump portals um, so this place I'd say the the XP you get is about equal to that of the redstone as well as the lapis which I'll be showing you guys here in a second. You can also get glowstone here too, but the thing about this is is the fact that you're not getting any kind of other like secondary advantages as far as being here because there's not really any mobs to kill, so you don't get any XP from that. Which that's also how the redstone mine was. And there's also no other kind of benefits. You could in theory sell the quartz, but it's not going to be worth that much. And one more thing about um, coming here to the nether fortress to mine is the fact that getting here isn't the easiest and it's pretty confusing trying to navigate your way through the spider's den. I do know my way now, but if you're not as experienced with it as me, then it's not going to be so easy. The only real reason I would come here is to, is to collect um, glowstone. Now next up is going to be the Lapis Mine. This one's going to be pretty pretty much like as far as the XP that the ores give you is going to be pretty much the same as the Redstone and Quartz Mines. But the difference here is that um, there's also like these zombies, they're not hard to kill for one. And for two, you have the chance of getting armor that um, or Lapis Armor which you could sell or wear if you don't have any yet. Plus they give you a little bit of extra XP which is always nice. And another advantage of this area is the fact that you get um, a lot of lapis when you're mining here and you can use that lapis to turn into XP bottles or grand um, experience bottles and get yourself even more XP. Which is why the lapis mine overall is going to give you a little bit more XP than the redstone and quartz mines will. And I'm going to say that this is going to be the best place to grind for levels if you don't have that good of armor. Like if you just have iron or just regular iron or diamond armor and you know you can't take that many hits, you don't do that much damage yet, this is definitely going to be your best bet for grinding levels. 
Okay, so we're back in the emerald mine, but this time we're talking about not only killing the slimes, but also mining the emeralds as you go, which, I mean, let's be real, no one's going to be in here just killing slimes, you're pretty much going to be doing both. Um, when you're doing both, I would say that this, this, um, the emerald level is going to give you a bit more XP than Lapis will, but there are the annoying slimes that if you don't kill them right away, it can give you that walk around and knock back like that. He just killed himself with my thorns, but they can be annoying. And the other thing about Lapis is again, you get those extra XP bottles, which bring them up to about even as far as the XP you get overall. Now the next best place you can go, you're going to have to get there um, by starting in the Emerald Mine. But basically, you're going to want to go the way I just went, and you're going to come down here, and then right here, you're going to turn left, get rid of all the slimes, and right here in the tunnel between um, emerald and diamond, there's going to be a bunch of emeralds spawning in here. Um, you'll get the occasional diamonds down here at the bottom too, but the good thing about this is that the, the quantity of emeralds here, they're like a lot closer together. You get the occasional diamond and they respawn quickly, plus you don't have to deal with the mobs from either side, like neither of them tend to venture in here. So this, this is going to be one of the better places that you can grind XP. It's not the top of the list, but it is a good spot. Now, the next three places I'm about to talk about are all going to be about even. I'm currently in the diamond mine. So, uh, grinding for levels in the diamond mine is pretty good. It's going to be a step up from your emerald slash diamond tunnel because all your mining here are diamonds. And also the nice thing about grinding here is that you get the high level mobs which drop a lot of xp so if you have if you have good gear i wouldn't come here unless you have pretty good gear um and you can kill them easily you get the extra xp from them as well which actually puts this um a decent amount above the actual tunnel between emerald and diamond so now i'm in the obsidian mine and this one is actually going to be pretty pretty close it's only slightly slightly better than the diamond mine um the reason for this is that you can also mine diamonds here but the mobs are slightly stronger and drop slightly more xp so it's not a huge difference and the surprising thing about diamond block is they actually really don't give you very much xp oh what do you know i just got a miner's chest plate that's that's one of the other um benefits of being here is you can get uh, miner's gear so yeah overall the the yield of the obsidian mine here is going to be slightly better than the diamond of course you need to be geared to be here as well because the mobs are slightly harder than the diamond ones which are hard and also in both of these mines you're going to need to watch out for that lava because that can be very dangerous to fall into especially when you have skeletons shooting you and keeping you from getting out Okay, so this is going to be the final spot, and as far as I have seen so far, I have not found any better way to grind XP. This is going to be the best way to grind XP. So basically, the way you're going to get here is you're going to start in the diamond mine here, and you're basically just going to take a left and just stay on the left wall, run down this way, until you hit this tunnel right here, which is the tunnel between diamond and obsidian. As you can see, there are a ton of diamonds in here and they respawn very quickly and the other thing about this spot is like the tunnel between emerald and diamond you're gonna get very few mobs that will actually um, aggro onto you they either stay down there in the obsidian mine or up there in the diamond mine so you're pretty much free to mine the ton of diamonds that spawn here and again I don't know if I said this yet but they respawn very quickly and yeah you're basically you can basically mine diamonds infinitely here even if there's someone else here mining with you like this guy the the diamonds respawn so fast that you're still able to just be mining constantly and not have to worry about the fact that someone else is there it's basically like you're not even sharing and the last benefit of mining here is that when you're done mining you're going to be able to sell all the diamonds that you collected while mining now the same thing is going to go for some of the other ones like the emerald like the emerald mine the tunnel between diamond and emerald diamond mine obby mine and then this one, like I said, um, same thing's gonna go for them, but again, this is where you're getting the most diamonds, so you're gonna also be making the most money here. And about a one hour session of grinding here got me about 30,000 coins, and I was able to get up from level about level 70 to level 132 for the enchant I wanted. And 
that might that might not seem that good um but when you're higher levels like when you need to get to high levels like that the rate at which you gain xp is very low so that's actually very impressive all right guys so i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here if you did enjoy or find the video useful please leave a like and consider subscribing also if you find any other spots that are good for grinding xp that maybe i didn't cover I'm pretty sure I covered all the good ones, but if you find the other ones, you can go ahead and leave them in the comments. Also, leave a comment um, letting me know what kind of tutorials you want to see next. Um, I have a couple ideas of possible ones, but I want to know what you guys really want. So, yeah, leave those comments down below. And, uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.